is week two of my side hustle series. And this week I have been designing, I have been making, I've been getting ready for a big event this weekend. It's a chili cooking contest and they've got vendors set up there. And I'm gonna go and sit at my booth and see how things go. But I am doing some designs specifically for this event as well as some additional designs that I'm wanting to do on a regular basis. So I've got a lot of prep work to do. I'm gonna show you guys all the things that I've designed and then, and then we gotta get to making. This event is this weekend. Y'all have to excuse the state of my craft room. I'm actually in the process of converting my basement into my new craft space, which I'm really excited about. And I'm gonna share the whole thing, just like I did for my old one in Memphis. I don't know if you guys were around for that one. It was so cute. This one is three to four times the size of that one, so I'm really excited. I'm actually gonna have space to like do everything here. I can make jewelry, I can make candles, I can do sublimation, I can store all of my yarn crafts and my fabric crafts and it's very exciting. All right, so I'm working on my designs on my iPad. Majority of the designs that I have done so far, I have done through Procreate. Procreate is an app that you can just draw. It's, it is my absolute favorite. I really wish that programs like Illustrator and Photoshop were as easy as this. You just draw, you just draw and it's so nice and you can do layers and you can do textures and different brushes and it's just, it is so easy to use. I highly, highly recommend it. So when I did that video a while back talking about how my mom always used very creative, non-curse word, curse words. And when I shared that, the response from you guys was huge. I loved reading the creative words that your parents or grandparents used and it gave me an idea. I want to do a whole line inspired by those creative words. So I've been working on some different designs for my sublimation project, and um, those, those words may end up on a couple of things I'm selling. Okay, so here's what I have so far. I have I Swanee, Fiddlesticks, Dead Gummit, For Pete's Sake, what in the same hill, sugar honey iced tea, which came from you guys, I had never heard that before, and geez louise, but I need one more. Someone said son of a biscuit. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny, but I need, I need just one more. I'm gonna have to think on that. If I've left off something that your family has said, please let me know in the comments because these crack me up. Now I did this in Procreate, but you could also easily do this in something like Canva or Kittle. If you're not interested in using something like Procreate and you just really want something simple, I recommend Kittle or Canva. You can either create a custom size or you can choose from one of their different templates. Make sure that that resolution is at 300 if you're gonna be printing this. All right, so now what I can do is I can just add whatever I want. You can also tell it and let their AI generator create something for you. Uh, I will warn you, it's not perfect. <laughs> I've had some very interesting things happen when I've done this, but it's it's a great way to get ideas going and <laughs> kind of get those creative juices flowing, but it is definitely not perfect by any means. So here's my prompt. I said, create word art using the words, what in the Sam Hill, dead gummit, sugar honey iced tea, geez louise, H-E double hockey sticks, I swanee, for Pete's sake, and fiddlesticks. All right, so now I'm just gonna hit enter and we'll see what happens. Okay, and as you can see, it's a bunch of gibberish. Like, what is that? That is just a bunch of gibberish. It's garbage. This is not the greatest. This tool is definitely, definitely needs some work. Create a hot dog dancing with a dog. And there it is. <laughs> that is a hot dog dancing with a very creepy dog that looks like he has maybe had some sort of surgery here. Um, he has nipples like he's a man. Um, I don't know what this demon is. He also looks like he's wearing golf gloves or I, I don't know what this is. But yeah, he's dancing with a hot dog. So, you know, you just, you never know what the AI is going to get you. 
<laughs> so bad. So for this event, some of the designs that I've created, I've drawn myself. Most of them I've drawn myself. Some of them I created on Kittle. One of the things that I created on Kittle was this Bryson City mountain and train kind of scape. Uh, one thing you have to remember when you're doing this is that your image, you're going to have to mirror the image, especially if you have words. Because if you don't, you're gonna end up with coasters with the words backwards. You don't want that. It can become kind of a pricey mistake. So don't be like me. There should be, because it's fall break, there should be a good number of tourists in town. So I wanna make sure that I have some souvenir type of thing, a lot of Bryson City type of images. For this specific event, I actually just went into Kittle and created like a little, almost like a little logo, because there wasn't an official logo for this event. And so I was like, well, I'll just create one. So I created a little logo, which I'll put right here so you guys can see it. and. I'm just gonna put that on, I've got a couple of koozies that I thought that would be good for. Just things that people might want to pick up just to remember the event. Keep catching my head on Bucky McSparkleson. It's beautiful, but he grabs my hair. And then because this is, this is our big tourist season, so color season, everybody ends up coming to town because they wanna see the leaves change. So we have a bunch of out-of-towners. So I'm making sure that I have a lot of things that include Bryson City on them. So I'm gonna do some ornaments. I'm gonna do some Bryson City mugs and tumblers. Um, I've drawn, actually I'll show you. So I have a couple little designs that I've created. So I have like this little go outside. Super cute. This is my Bryson City tumbler and I've just drawn a bunch of places in Bryson. I have to redo this one though. You see that white line? That's a no-no, but that's okay because I can keep this one for myself. And then I also have this mug where I've just repeated Bryson City in different fonts all around it. Just some things that people can pick up to remember their trip here. Kind of a long event tomorrow, so I wanna make sure I have enough to sell there and then, but still have some to sell at the home show and online. If I don't, I just have to get more blanks. I mean, if people are buying all my stuff, then I'm just gonna have to get more blanks. So I'm gonna go ahead and print this. So one little warning, when you print something on sublimation paper, it's not going to look really vibrant. So you just have to be prepared for that and just know that it's gonna be okay, I promise. You also wanna make sure that you're printing a little bit larger than the size of what is going on here. That way it goes over the edge and you don't end up getting like, you know, blank spaces on it. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna show you the next step for making these ornaments. One of the first things you need to do is you need to make sure that you've got a clean blank. So just use a lint roller. I know it sounds crazy, but trust me, you do not want any little dust particles on this because if there are, then it's gonna be a negative little space where the ink didn't get to go. By the way, this thing is amazing. This is a tape dispenser. And look, all of these little things, this is all little pieces of tape. And it makes your life so much easier because you just grab, grab your tape when you need it. I don't know who invented this, but they're a genius. So next up, you're gonna need to put butcher paper down on your press just to make this pad last a little bit longer. So if any ink gets through, it doesn't bleed on this. I always take one more piece out to go on top. I love that on the Craft Express, all their products, they have the instructions. So for this one, it says, suggested printing parameters, 356 degrees for 80 seconds. Now, if for some reason, package gets damaged or you just can't find their original package, don't worry, they keep it all on their website. They keep it super simple. So my paper cutter is garbage. I decided I was gonna get out all of my sewing rulers and mats so that I could actually get a clean cut because every time I've tried to do it on that terrible cutter, it's like it just 
eats the paper and then I get really mad. So, oh, it's perfect, it's perfect. Now I'll be honest, tumblers are probably what I have struggled with the most. They're hard. If you're gonna try to get a seamless design on there, it's, it's not easy. And I've had quite a few <laughs> fails, which these aren't cheap, so it can be, it can be a little frustrating. Okay, so now we have the issue of it's a little too much. So I can see how much it's hanging over. That side and that side. But see, this to me is a better problem because this I can then cut away because I made my design to where there's a little bit of extra on this side and a little bit extra on this side so I have room to play with. Okay, okay, I cut it down a little bit. Man, that is just almost perfect. I don't know that I can cut this any closer, so I think I'm going to just risk the little bit of ghosting that can, cap that can happen if sometimes they overlap a little bit. I think I'm gonna risk it. Sometimes you gotta risk it for the biscuit. And this time, <laughs> that's so close that I run the risk. I would much rather have a little bit of ghosting at the seam than to have like a white line. That I do not want at all. So we're gonna tape this thing using this amazing tape dispenser. I love that thing so much. Now I've seen where people tape like perfectly so that when they pull it off, it's in one piece. Um, and I know it's just a matter of overlapping correctly, but my brain doesn't have time to deal with that right now. So I'll figure that out and share it with y'all next time. Now I know some people really love to tape like the bottom, the top, like they cover this whole thing in tape. And I don't know, I, part of me feels like when you tape the top and you crease it in, sometimes I feel like it's it creates more air bubbles. So like I, I tape at the seam, but I'm very careful not to bend the tape paper down. I am not gonna tape the top or the bottom. I'm gonna just leave it as is, and we're gonna see how this goes. Also helpful to have some sort of weeding tool. That's gonna help you get this tape off while this is still hot, you know, without burning your fingers. Start again. Okay. All right. This thing is hot. See, this is where it would have been really helpful if I had actually lined it up to where I could easily take these off. The moment of truth. The moment of truth. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. Oh, and look, okay, so there's my line, but I don't hate it. Like, it's not making me mad. This is cute. I'm so excited. Y'all, this is so much fun. I mean, it's just, you can put anything on these. This makes me happy. Okay, so the event is in like an hour. <laughs> I still have not left because there's so many things that I keep wanting to do. So I've got two more koozies that I, I need to print and then, I don't know. I really, no, I need to stop. I'm gonna do two koozies and then I'm going to stop and I'm going to pack up and go, thankfully in my tiny little town, it literally takes us at the most five minutes to get anywhere. Look how cute these are. I drew this girl last year and I love her. And now she's now she's on a koozie. Now she's an adorable Halloween koozie. So I've got those. I kind of want to make myself one 
to carry with me. Right now I'm making a koozie for the event. Since, you know, people are coming for the chili cook-off, they might want some stuff that's customized to the chili cook-off. So I've got a couple of those, but we'll see. I'm excited to see what's actually gonna sell. And that's actually, that's gonna be next week's video. Next week's video, I'm gonna show you the setup. I'm gonna show you the event taking place and people buying and maybe, maybe I can convince some people to let me film them and get their reactions, but we'll see. But this is just one event. Remember, I also am gonna be doing a home show and I'm gonna be doing an online sale which you guys can participate in. So be sure that you're following me on Instagram because I'm gonna be posting a lot of updates over there as far as when I'll be opening up that online store. And I'll also put it in the community thing. So if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe so that you get notifications because I will post things a lot in that community tab and it'll let you know what's coming up. So also, if you hit the little bell icon, it'll notify you when I post. All right. Oh. So this is the koozie I did for the chili cook-off. Aren't those adorable? I've got to print the back side of these. That's just the front. Okay, so I have two of these and my pumpkin girl. And then I also, also made a Bryson City chili cook-off mug. And I made a not so bad word, mug. Okay, I don't have time to chat. Okay, I gotta go, I gotta go.